But Democrats, let's move on to a different issue that that <clears throat> is has been quite divisive for no reason. But the Democrats, including Joe Biden in the White House, have slammed Texas voter bill, State Bill 7, to the point where they walked out. We talked about that at the end of last week and in the beginning of this week. They walked out of the state legislation last Friday. Democrats did, blocking it. And they're pissed. And Beto O'Rourke's been out there talking about all these representatives out there talking about, talking about how it's racist, talking about how it takes us back, how it's akin to this or that. It's akin to Jim Crow. It's akin to whatever. All these just BS arguments that have are baseless. They have no merit to them whatsoever. But as, as, as many people have pointed out, and is always the case with politicians, are these people, including Joe Biden, who are criticizing it, are they aware of what's actually in it? Then are the Democrats, in this case, freaking out for no reason? And you know the answer to that, and we'll, we'll circle back to that. But Daily Caller, <clears throat> Daily Caller did us a solid and broke down in simple terms that even Democrats should be able to understand. They probably still didn't. Don't get me wrong. Bravo, I'll get to your question, by the way. I'm just making a note. Um, Daily Caller broke it down in a way that everyone should be able to understand. So as it pertains to mail-in, and of course, again, voter ID is a big part of this, but as it pertains to mail-in, early drive-through voting, all that kind of stuff, it basically just says, hey, if you want to vote by mail, you have to request an absentee ballot. You have to request an absentee ballot, which means you have to give a driver's license or the last four digits of your social security number. Again, absentee ballots, you've always had to provide identification for. Getting into that and the difference, the distinction between that and universal mail-in ballots, which is something that the Democrats hate to talk about, A, because most of them don't understand it, and B, the ones that do want to manipulate the system and convince and fool Americans that they're the same thing when they're in fact not. One has, has background, or not background checks, but ident identification checks, and one does not. So one is easier to cheat with, and one is not. So they have to request the, the, the ballot application. They have to fill it out, provide their identification, period. And then they can vote. Don't want to go to the polls, going to be out of town, going to be deployed, going to be traveling. No problem. Just tell us that you want one. Show us that you are who you are, and then you can do it. Fair, right? It also makes it clear and illegal for ballot clerks to send out absentee ballots to people who have not requested them. That makes sense too, right? Oh, you didn't ask for one? Okay, we're not going to send it. As opposed to the Democrats who are like, no, 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 that's, that's an opportunity missed. Send it anyways if they don't want it. We can get someone else to fill it out. No one's going to see that that person voted twice if they happen to. No one's going to see this. They can, we can, Lord knows what we can do with that. So it blocks that. It also changed the early voting on Sundays, limiting it to 1 and 9 p.m. That's the souls to the polls thing that, that Democrats and Beto talked about the other day, the clip that we showed. Everyone was all pissed about that because it, it, it said 1 to 9. And to me, 1 to 9 p.m. is a big window. That's a, that's a big-ass window on Sunday. Go to church, you get your lunch, you go vote. If that's the way you do it, which there's a community there who apparently does it that way. But they're saying, Democrats are saying, oh, they're, they're trying to get rid of souls for the polls. They're, they're blocking black people from voting. No, they're not. There's, there's all the other times you can do it. There's all the other ways you can do it. That's still plenty of time. And it turns out it was actually written down wrong. It's 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. But again, we're majoring in the minors here. That's a huge window on a Sunday when there are infinite number of other times that you can go and vote. And if, if you can't for some reason, then you request the absentee ballot application. You show your identification, whatever your name might be, whatever your credentials might be, and then you're good to go. 